Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from Run the Food Market. Uh, good morning. It is Nick. Good morning, guys. Uh, we have a video today. Uh, I was gonna stream, but I'm not streaming yet. Um, I'll be streaming a little bit later this afternoon on Twitch. We actually have like 80 more team of season packs. You guys are showing so much love on those videos. I appreciate it. I'm re-uploading what's for my stream, and it's a lot of packs and a lot of coins spent. So, GG's to you guys for supporting the videos, but. Today is some FIFA 20 news. I wanted to get on a video. I wanted to talk about it with you guys. Um, just make some sense of it. Uh, you know, see what's going on with it. See what they announced today. I personally haven't heard that many features yet for the game. I heard, um, I'll tell you guys right now, the only thing I have heard through the community is that there's going to be a mode where you can play open matchmaking without contracts and fitness loss. That's what I've heard um, through the community. And yeah, so that sounded cool to me. I heard that about a week or two ago. Um, let's see what they announced today. If you guys enjoy the video, drop a thumbs up. Now let's be let's be up let's be realistic before we get into this video and just talk about something that no other content creator is really talking about right now. Guys, none of this news matters if the gameplay sucks. I think a lot of people are already saying buy FIFA points. Uh, the FIFA 20 is gonna be fire. That whole situation. Let's not forget that this year's game has been the worst installment of FIFA yet in its in its entirety of being out ever. This year's gameplay was the worst thing ever. So if the gameplay is not better next year, none of this matters because we are all owed a very good game. We All of us are. The fact that we're all still here playing this game in FIFA 19 is ridiculous. So we are owed a good game next year. So keep, keep all this stuff that you read today with me is with a grain of salt. You're allowed to get excited. You're allowed to get hyped up. That's kind of how it works every single year. But don't forget that at the end of the day, your personal enjoyment is going to come from the gameplay. So the modes... All that situation, all that stuff. If the finishing and if, if the finishing is not rewarding, and the AI is too overpowered, then the game sucks. So I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just trying to be realistic and say, guys, we need to be realistic uh, with all this. So I'm already seeing a lot of stuff coming out um, from EA. So let's see what's going on. It says build your build your dream squad. This is for FIFA 20. Uh, meet the class of 20. So I guess there's more icons. I don't even know features. Uh, season objectives. Is there like a certain tab for this? Okay. Let's talk about the icons first. Um, so the icons you have, uh, they've only announced a few so far. Carlos Alberto. Okay. So they haven't revealed more icons. So those are the top icons. The Don's going to be in foot. Drogba's going to be in foot. Komen, Perlo. I don't really care too much about that stuff. I more want to hear some news about what's going on in the game. So let's click on foot friendlies. Let's see what's going on with foot friendlies. So, um, Kick back and relax against your mates or the wider foot community with a range of new and more social ways to play foot. Uh, house rules. Take your pick from the full selection of returning custom rules from FIFA 19 kickoff mode, including survival and no rules, and enjoy four uh, brand new house rules. Is this for ultimate team? I can't really tell if this is ultimate team. Uh, I don't know if this is ultimate team. Five for possession. Is this in ultimate team? I don't know if this is in ultimate team. This is FIFA 20 ultimate team. I guess this is an ultimate team. If this has, to, maybe they're putting in house rules from FIFA 19 into FIFA Ultimate Team. I don't really know. It doesn't specify, but it's under the Ultimate Team tab. So I guess that's what's going on. Um, maybe I, I think so. Maybe I don't. I don't really know. I'm assuming this is just 100% going into the kickoff mode thing. I don't know if this is like if they're advertising this as friendlies instead of Ultimate Team. Very confusing that they would put this under FIFA 20 Ultimate Team if it's not for Ultimate Team. Um, max chemistry exclusively in exclusively in foot all players have maximum individual chemistry allowing new possibilities for team building okay that's interesting i don't fully know what that means but it looks like new ways of chemistry swaps exclusively in foot three players are randomly swapped from your team with the opposition you could gain your opponent's star player but also lose yours okay that's sick so, wow, that's really cool. So this is, wow, that's actually really cool. So that reminds me of Madden Draft. Um, Madden has this Mutt Draft thing called, and it's like you kind of play online with three friends, and they you can draft your players from each uh, each of your teams to make a, a, a group team. Like, that's really cool. So, wow, that's pretty cool, man. I really like that feature. That's So, so randomly... So maybe like in this in this mode called foot friendlies, maybe you don't put your best player in the mode because if you put your best player, you have a chance to lose them and then your opponent gets it. So maybe you play with like an OP 80 or 81 rated team and you hope that your opponent has a good team and you, you saw some of their players and they get some of your players. That's a pretty cool concept. I like that a lot. Play with friends. Join your mates in a selection of competitive modes. 
So play a friend, challenge a friend in their ultimate team or online or in standard or house rules, play online, uh, track your, oh, thank you so much, EA Sports, track your stats, maintain ultimate bragging rights with an in-depth tracking system that records a range of statistics from the head-to-head matches you play. In addition to keeping track of the scores, new opposition scouting re- reports help help you uh, identify, yo, that is so sick. Hopefully, my fingers are crossed that this is for ultimate team. And in general, an ultimate team. Like when you play any game in division rivals or you play any game in any open matchmaking mode, my hope is that that is for general ultimate team. That would be fantastic. If you load up into a division rivals or into this foot friendlies mode, into the online matchmaking, and you see what your opponent is record-wise, that's the coolest thing ever. If they have graphics like that before you go into the game, um, that's sick. I'm so for that. And that's going to get EA to play a lot of games, people to play a lot more games. Um, next year. Okay, so they didn't really tell us much else. So guys, I'm going to tell you what I heard about this mode, this foot friendlies mode, and they haven't told you. I heard that with this mode, you do not lose contracts when you play this mode or fitness. That is what I have heard. Um, I, they have not confirmed it, so obviously it may not be true, but just kind of sharing with you guys what I've heard. So that's a, that's what foot friendlies is. Uh, re, redefine objectives. Transfer the way you play foot with a redefined objective system and season objectives. Progress and personalize your club with a range of time limited and group tasks, providing more complex and rewarding objectives throughout the year. Earn XP. Complete a range of objectives over the course of a season to earn XP to progress. Uh, move through the levels of each season and unlock better rewards as you level up. Okay, I don't know what that is. No way. Complete all objectives in this group and earn a low and ones to watch Jovic. Oh, this is sick. <laughs> I talked about this in a tweet the other day, man. Monthly and yearly objectives are necessary in foot. They've got to bring these, man. Give us stuff like solo challenges and Madden to work towards. So this is another good step in the right direction. Uh, from players to packs to new club customization options, upgrade your club with different rewards all season long. This is really, really, really cool. So you can see here there's five objectives on the screen for Luka Jovic. Score for Serbia. Uh, goodbye, Bundesliga. It takes finesse. Winning and rivals and welcome to Madrid. So if you complete all the objectives, you get a loan Jovic for nine games. So I, I think ultimately... Oh, here we go. Season rewards, season objectives, foundations, and milestones. Okay, this is the important stuff right here. Not season objectives. Foundations and milestones is huge, man. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, guys. That stuff is the stuff that I've been saying to you guys for like months now. Like, score 500 goals is, should be a milestone in foot, and you get a big reward. So that is really cool that you're going to have a, a, a way to go in and kind of track that kind of stuff through that. I'm very, very into that. That is a good job from EA Sports. Milestone objectives. Get rewarded for milestone moments in your foot club's journey with long-term goals uh, to aim for throughout the season. Oh my God, bro. Thank you so much, EA. Century of goals. Score 100 finesse shots. 100 out of 100 goals. Score 100 headers. Okay, so here they have a ball for the reward. I hope that EA does not make it 200 coins for a hundred for, for a group reward of 400 goals in foot but they give you motivation to score chip shots volleys headers finesse shots this should be a way better reward but it's good to see that that is actually kind of thing transfer market bull so they've got wow they're gonna have a they're gonna have an objective of making coins foot champions century of goals this is really cool man this is really cool so they've given you just a glimpse of what they're gonna give with that but that's really good looking um i like what i'm seeing so far more ways to play Okay, hold on. Coffee sip is necessary. Coffee sip is necessary. Coffee sip is necessary. Squad management. Enjoy more seamless squad management and a squad building challenges with a redesigned squad screen in Foot 20. Enabling you to to access your active squad, the transfer market, and club content quickly from one location. List on transfer market. Wow, this is cool. I like this kind of like wheel. This is like a wheel, I guess. Wow, the squad screen looks really nice. The menus look really nice. Something I also heard... Okay, I heard two things. Besides the no contracts, no friendlies. Or in the friendlies thing. I also heard next year that their on foot is a light mode and a dark mode. I don't know how true that is. But that's another thing that I heard from somebody that said that there's a light slash dark mode next year on foot. So that's fantastic if there's that. Uh, a, A mode for every style... Every playstyle, whether it's taking on your mates and foot friendlies, the AI and squad battles, the online foot community and division rivals, or the elite and elite foot champions, there's a mode for every playstyle and skill level. 
Okay, well, I have a problem here, man. I have a problem here. Um, let's go back to food friendlies because there, right here, it doesn't look like there's a mode. Um, food friendlies, kick back and relax against your mates or the wider foot community. Okay, this is okay. So this should be a mode. The wider foot community means that this should be open matchmaking. Uh, choose ways to play. Take house rules online against the foot community. Play a friend. Couch play. Play online. Take on a random member of the wider foot community online. Search for a particular house rules or a set short of favorites. Uh, okay. My hope is that you can just play normal online game, online matches in that mode. That's my hope that you can just play normal online matches in that mode. You don't have to play house rules, but you can if you want. But you could just search up normal house rules because what you guys don't understand is if there's not online mode, if there's not an open matchmaking online mode, and there's only division rivals and foot champions, then we have the same game as last year. That's my that's my worry. So hopefully EA, if they haven't already, have are gonna make this mode available to open matchmaking. Otherwise, you're getting the competitive sucked down your throat again. And I really hope they don't do that. So that's my prayer is that they're pushing that online casual mode. Because right here, they've not included it in here, which I don't love. I don't love because that would mean it's not that big of a deal. And they're still pushing squad battles. So hopefully, man, fingers crossed that that's a thing. Because if these three are the modes again, then this game is a failure. Because it's just, it's not how a game should work. There should not be division. It should not be thrown down your throat with these th two modes that are okay. Squad battle enhancement can complete weekly games on your schedule with the removal of the daily match cap, allowing you to climb the ranks on your terms. That's okay. That's a cool concept. Feature squad battle. And the feature squad battle balance risk and reward. Uh, the ultimate connection to the fish from team of the week champion to the Champions League get special player items with boosting in-game stats regarding real-world performance on the pitch. Companion app, manage your team on the go with the foot companion app or mobile tap, tablet and desktop. Keep track of your progression through the season objectives and the leaderboard. Search the transfer market, manage your squad and redeem weekly. Okay, that's very good. So you can redeem weekly rewards on your app now, which is huge. Okay, so that's what we have for the news today, guys. They haven't told us too much. Um, there's actually not that many additions to the game. I have to be honest. There's a few. Um, there's nothing crazy. The season objectives look promising as long as the rewards are fitting with the stuff like score 100 goals. As long as the rewards are good enough. I hope they are rewarding enough. Um, that looks all good. I like that the objectives are broadening. I'm a fan of that. Um, it could be manageable to the grind the game to somebody without trading if the objectives are good enough. That's all going to be huge. And that's that's going to be huge. A lot of people for the last few years have been looking to grind gameplay content, but it hasn't been worth it without spending money or without trading. They've just wanted to grind the game to get coins. That should always be a potential reward for a FIFA player. Um, I really hope that this mode has a huge emphasis on it. Like, I hope that EA doesn't just say, okay, this is a mode. I really like concepts like this where it's it's different kinds of things. I like that. I really hope there's an emphasis on it. I hope this mode is not, I hope this is like not a forgotten mode, a release mode, and then just kind of unfinished for the rest of the year. EA needs to understand that this is unacceptable. This right here, and I'm not saying today about this, I'm saying in general about this year. The problem with this year's game, guys, was there was no casual foot. You had to go play division rivals at a high elo and do objectives through there, or you had to go play foot champions. That's it. Like, you had no mode this year that you could just go into, do weekly objectives if you wanted to, play a guy online if you wanted to, just to chill out. None of that. It was all bent over modes this year. People want to play this game for casualness. So, I really hope that this is a big emphasis, this foot friendlies mode. I hope that this is a big mode next year for the sake of the competitive FIFA. It, there needs to be a mode like this that sits in FIFA. Um, overall, I am I am semi-impressed today. I think the modes are promising. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh my God, FIFA 20 looks fire, best year ever. I'm a realist. Um, playing this game has been hell this year. I really hope they get the, uh, the gameplay right next year. I really do. Um, I like this objective things because this makes like it makes it look like the game is worth it to grind potentially. I like this because it, sa it says, hey, this game might be a little bit more casual. There's more fun things to do online. Maybe more things to do against friends, which is cool. And then I like that they're doing menu changes. It looks like there's been squad management, good menu changes. That's been good. Overall, guys, I am rating what they've done today. I want to see more, obviously, and I want to see how the gameplay is. But a step in the right direction is, is what I got for you guys today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. See you guys in the video soon. Peace out.